it's Tiara. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'll be sharing with you guys the things that I've been loving for the whole month of March. So without wasting any more time, let's get on with it. So to just put the whole subject aside, of course, one of my favorite things for the whole month of March would have to be going to Japan. It was such a fantastic trip. I had so much fun. It was amazing and every day I'm just like, I want to go back, I want to go back. But I'm glad I vlogged and if you have not watched my vlogs yet, I will link the playlist down below and in the card section at the top right hand corner of your screen so that you can watch it. Um, what I was up to in when I, went, when I was in Japan. I may or may not have already put up my Japan haul for you guys so if I have already done that or if it's already up I will also link it down below and in the card section at the top right hand corner of your screen. But now moving along to the beauty items. The first thing I want to talk about is this and this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I got this in the beginning of February and I have not been able to put it down. So it just looks like that and if you're not familiar with Too Faced, the chocolate bar, pa pa um, chocolate bar series, they have now they have three chocolate bar series. So there's a chocolate bar, the semi-sweet or semi-sweet and this is the third one which is the chocolate bonbons one. And I really like how number one, the packaging is so cute. There's like heart shapes at the top and the cover and the pens in it are also heart shaped like how cute is that personally i feel that the colors in here are not as wearable like there are only a couple of shades that i know i will reach for um, on an everyday basis um, but i really like it anyway and it smells like chocolate so every time i put on my eyeshadow using this eyeshadow palette I really feel like I want to eat chocolate. And also, I have been exclusively using this eyeshadow palette throughout the whole month of March except for when I went to Japan because I didn't want to bring such a bulk, uh, I, I didn't want to bring a big palette. So, other than that, I've been using the, cho um, the chocolate bonbons palette and I'm using all chocolate bonbons palette on my eyes right now. So today I have this shade called Cafe Ole on my eyelids and on my outer corner I have Mocha and Bordeaux. So um, and I really like this colour as well. This is called Molasses Chip. It's so pretty on the eyelids. So gorgeous. And then this shouldn't constitute as a favourite because I just recently got it. But I had to mention it because of the chocolate bonbons palette. I love the chocolate bonbons palette so much that I just went ahead and purchased the original chocolate bar palette because all of the shades in here are very neutral, very easy to wear for day to, uh, for day, to day and oh my god you guys, I love it so much already and I've only used it for like 3 days. I'm obsessed with it. I'm so glad I bought it. It was because of the, how much I love the Chocolate Bonbons palette, like the pigmentation, how buttery it is, and how easy it is to blend, and of course the smell, and yeah, and everything else. That's why I went ahead and got the original Chocolate Bar palette because it's so pretty. Like, can you see the colors in here? This one, super gorgeous. So if you are looking for a eyeshadow palette that is very easy to wear for day to day and easy to upplay if you are you know going out at night i highly recommend this palette and the next item is the hourglass ambient lighting blood no the ambient lighting powder palette um oh my god you guys i have featured this in one of my tutorials i will link it down below I'm so sorry that because of the lighting, it kind of washed it out but it was because of this that my face looked really radiant in my February favourites video because it was the only different thing that I put on my face that day or for that video and Hourglass is going to be available in Sephora if not soon, it already has been launched in Sephora but basically they come with three different shades and I find that this like highlighting palette is great for those of you who don't really like the really really strong highlighting thing like the strobing thing like the really intense one like for example from um, Jaclyn Hill's um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors and the Mary Luminizer sometimes I do agree that 
it may scare people because when you just put it on your the higher points of your cheeks, it's really obvious and there is a highlight there. So if you are you if you're not a fan of that kind of highlight, right? Go for this one because I think that it gives a very subtle radiant glow to the skin and it gives the effect as well. I'm wearing it today, don't know if you can see. But yeah, I'm wearing it today and I feel that from, you know, if you look at yourself closely, you, it's not obvious that you're wearing um, highlighter but once your skin starts to like, you know, mesh together with all the products on your face, the glow is just amazingly beautiful. It it's just amazing and I highly recommend it for those of you, like I said, who are not really a big fan of the stark highlights. Furthermore, the powders for these like ambient lighting blushes and powders, what I noticed is that they are super finely milled and easy to blend. So it's amazing, it's an amazing product. It's really pricey but I understand why it's amazing. Along the lines of Hourglass, I have another Hourglass favourite to share with you guys and it is the Veil Mineral Primer. I've already done a review on this on dailyvanity.sg and I will link that down below if you have not read it yet. And the reason why I love this is because it makes my makeup stay on all day. I kid you not, I leave the house in the morning, I come back at night, I don't touch my face, I don't touch up anything. I look like how I left the house 8 hours ago. It is freaking amazing and it doesn't feel silicone-y, it doesn't feel like cakey or heavy on the skin. It feels like an emulsion type of um, moisturizer and it just smooths out the skin making makeup application super super easy and super super smooth and I from what I read it is oil free and paraben free and animal cruelty free if you're wondering so if you are someone who you know doesn't mind splurging on a really good primer a long lasting primer to make your makeup last longer I highly recommend this one it's really really good now on to the miscellaneous stuff I have the Nair Spa Clay with Mineral Rich Clay Mango and Achai Berry Mini Waxing Strips. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I thoroughly enjoy going to the Benefit Brow Bar to get my brows and my upper lip fuzz waxed off. I enjoy the experience but I do have to admit that it is very expensive. So um, I've been looking for these mini wax strips for a while now and when I saw it over at Watson's, I just had to pick it up and try it for myself and I love it. Like now I don't think I will go to the Benefit Brow Bar that often because I have these wax strips to remove my upper lip fuzz and also the stray hairs on my brows. I will still go to the Benefit Brow Bar to reshape it if I'm unable to reshape it by myself and to trim it by myself properly because I'm, I mean face it, I'm not a pro. In between Benefit Brow Bar um, like uh, appointments, I can just use this at home wax strips and it delivers almost the same results. I mean like temporarily before I go uh, and get my brows professionally done. I don't have any negative reaction to it. I My skin didn't like burn or of course my skin naturally gets red after a waxing session anyway but after that I didn't have any breakouts or whatever so it's perfectly safe at least for my skin and you have like a lot of strips in here and honestly for both my brows and my upper lip I only use about one and a half of these strips right here so I cut it accordingly to the shape or the size that I want and warm it up put it like put it on massage it in a little bit and pull my skin and pull it against the direction of wherever I'm removing the hairs from and one box of this is $12.95 which I think is not that bad considering I have a lot of users for this so if you are someone who wants to you know do a little bit of personal grooming on the face or any um, private areas uh, you can try this um, mini wax strips because they are safe and gentle for the facial area and the other area i mean if you're into that and another miscellaneous tool that i'm like, super excited about which is it can be a bit tmi but you know what? It is one of my favourites this month and it is my new epilator. Okay, so I don't like to shave my legs. I mean, I like thankfully for me, I have relatively thin 
strands of leg hair so it doesn't really look very obvious my friends were telling me like if you hate shaving so much why don't you just invest in an epilator so i just got myself a mid-range epilator and it is the best thing ever the reason why i don't like to shave is because i feel that it makes my skin really really rough and um, like I use this for both my legs and my underarms as well and oh my god you guys life has changed ever since I have this epilator I have I epilated my legs once since I got this and until now I see no leg hair to epilate anymore <laughs> so it's like it lasts for a really long time just like what the box says like four like three to four four weeks without you know no hair or something like that so if you have not tried an epilator i highly recommend it because it is a lifesaver it saves so much time and effort and at first it hurts a little bit like as though you know a you are pulling a lot of your hair at the same time um but it's like a lot of tweezers working at once if you want to have a point of reference from but yeah, this is amazing. So I'm so glad that Fireha and Liana actually made me go and want to try an epilator because it's totally, completely life-changing. Last two favourites are fashion favourites and they are shoes. So let me just bend down and get them there on the floor. Alright, so the first pair of shoes I have are my Adidas Gazelles and this is the faux snake skin looking one. And I got this from ASOS.com and um, I love them a lot because I don't have an I don't have a pair of sneakers that are like either white or greyish um, that can match like um, all my sneakers face it all my sneakers match everything. The thing about these shoes is that the arch where your arch of your feet actually go in or slip in right it has like a raised platform so that it cushions your the arch of your feet. So it doesn't like make your feet tired when you walk really really long which I really like. So if you are interested you can go and check out asos.com. Not sure if they still have it but um, it's worth a shot to go and google for it because I think this is a really good pair of sneakers especially if you walk a lot like me. And my last favourite is my another pair of shoes and they are my Timberland boots. So if you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and my vlogs, you would have realised that I wore my boots throughout my trip in Japan. It is really heavy, I'm gonna put it down. I wore my boots throughout the whole trip when I was in Japan and it really helped a lot because it was really cold and um, the thing that I like about these Timberland boots is that they are weatherproof, meaning to say that any weather circumstance that you are in, snow, water, wind, whatever, it keeps your feet warm and dry. So this is generally waterproof. And over in Japan, there were so many, like there were two days that it was just pouring rain and there were puddles everywhere. So I was glad that I put these boots or I wore these boots and bought it for the trip because it was really helpful. It is also anti-fatigue so my feet didn't get tired as fast as it would if I had worn another pair of shoes. So that is all I have for you guys for my March favourites. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Um, I did give a little bit of a mini review on each stuff or each product that I mentioned today. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet or if you want to see more videos from me. I will link my, I will put like a box here that you can click to subscribe to my channel so that it will be easier for you guys and so that you don't miss any videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next one. Bye!